A group of young adults from all over the country will be spending the next six months restoring buildings all over Minnesota. Reporter Sherelle Moore tells us about the Northern Bedrock Historic Preservation Corps. In the Chippewa National Forest near Walker, there's a group that will be spending the next six months fixing up historic buildings all over the state. They're called the Northern Bedrock Historic Preservation Corps. Our main goal is to get people interested in hands-on preservation trades. So we're in the, in the process of, of working with different project hosts that have historic properties. Doing this type of work, it's a very specialty type of crafts work because you're not just fixing something, you're fixing it according to a certain standard. This year, there are more than 120 people who applied to be in the Corps. So this group is the lucky chosen few. All the Corps members are between the ages of 18 and 25. They work eight 10-hour days in a row and camp out on the work site. After the eight days, they get a six-day break. Obviously, a porcupine had uh, taken an interest in some of the, the, the siding on the building and had begun chewing on it. And so one of the things they've done is repair you know, those, those uh, planks that were involved with that. Really good SPVA, like construction work, like PT, right here, PT. One thing people say that they get out of this is how to work together as a team. And with that teamwork, friendships are formed. For me, the first year, so I'm really excited to join with groups and crew. Last year's group did more than 18,000 hours of service. And this year's group is setting that number as their bar. Participants say it's something they can be proud of ahead of their final day of work in October. A lot of the core members had never used hand tools before. They'd never done um, any saw work. And um, to see them learn that throughout the process for the past couple days has been awesome. And Reporting in the Chippewa National Forest near Walker, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. And after this project, one of the core groups will be restoring a cemetery in Minneapolis. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.